The Black River Falls School District has adopted a new plan that is geared toward helping students that are currently questioning their gender identity. News 8 Now's Rob Romano takes a detailed look at what that plan includes. Amy and Ken, the new gender plan in the Black River Falls School District, adopted after a recent school board meeting, allows young people that are questioning their gender to fill out documents with help from specific school, school staff members and caregivers. Those papers are signed by the student, the district, and a parent, and they allow for more communication between the school and the student about the use of pronouns and other aspects of their gender identity. I really wish I had done it sooner. Maybe I would have had a different you know, school experience. Wade Olson graduated from the Black River Falls schools in 2009. He was not openly gay until he turned 21, but he remembers how tough school used to be because he didn't have much support. My life probably could have been a little bit different in that, you know, in that phase of my life. Earlier this week, the Black River Falls School District adopted a new gender plan. That plan allows students that are questioning their gender to fill out papers with help from the school. The plan, which is signed by the student, the district, and a parent, allows students to determine which pronouns should be used and notifies the school of this. It also addresses questions related to how public or private the information about a student's gender will be at school. And so our purpose with this gender communication um, support tool is really that we just have as many scenarios that we know are going to come up during the school year and we talk through it with the student and the family. But not everyone agrees with the plan. Black River Falls School Board member Troy Webb feels the plan creates privileged classes among students in the district. He would like to see the current plan modified to allow for any student to bring just about any issue to the district's attention. He's calling for more conversation about the plan. Because I think right now there's a lot of people who are perceived one direction or the other, and they're not willing to go ahead and actually have a dialogue. Meanwhile, Severson says the plan gives leeway for any student that wants to reverse course if they started some semblance of a gender transition. If you at some point feel like you've made a mistake and you want to take some steps back, that is perfectly fine. And recent school board meetings regarding the Black River Falls School District's gender plan have gotten heated. Superintendent Severson says there have been moments when hateful rhetoric has been used against those in support of the new gender plan. Amy and Ken, I'll send it back to you. All right, thank you, Rob. And the new gender plan includes a provision that allows for future meetings with the school if a student is considering a gender transition.